In this video, we're going to talk about how to solve an exponential equation like the one you see on the board. So we have 2 raised to the x plus 4 raised to the x is equal to 8 raised to the x. What is the value of x? How can we find the answer? Well, feel free to pause the video if you want to try this problem. Now, the first thing you need to notice with this equation is that all of the bases is a multiple of 2. 4 and 8 are multiples of 2. So what we want to do is we want to get a common base. 2 squared or 2 times 2 is 4. 2 to the third power, that's 2 times 2 times 2, that's 8. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace 4 with 2 squared and then we're going to replace 8 with 2 to the third power. Now, when you raise one exponent to another exponent, you can multiply the two exponents. For instance, x squared raised to the third power is equal to x to the sixth power. So 2 squared raised to the x power is just 2 raised to the 2x. You can multiply 2 by x. And all of that will be equal to 2 to the 3x. So that's what we have at this point. Now I'm going to move everything from the left side to the right side of the equation. So I'm going to have a 0 on the left side. On the right side I have 2 raised to the 3x minus 2 to the 2x minus 2 to the x. Now let's get rid of this. And what we're going to do next is we're going to divide every term by 2 to the x. So 0 divided by 2 to the x, that's going to remain 0. Now what about 2 to the 3x divided by 2 to the x? What do we do here? When you divide, you need to subtract the exponents. x to the 7 divided by x to the 4 is x to the 7 minus 4, which is x cubed. So dividing 2 raised to the 3x by 2 to the x, we need to subtract 3x by 1x, and that will give us 2x. Here we're going to subtract 2x by 1x, which will give us 1x, and we can write that as simply x. Now, 2 to the x divided by itself, they cancel, and so we're going to get 1. So that's what we have at this point. Now, 2 raised to the 2x, we can rewrite that as 2 raised to the x squared. For instance, x cubed raised to the 4th power can be rewritten as x to the 4th raised to the 3rd power. Because 3 times 4, or 4 times 3, they both equal 12. So we can say 2 to the 2x can be rewritten as 2 squared raised to the x, or it can be written, it can be written as rather 2 to the x raised to the second power. They all equal the same thing. And you're going to see why we're doing that shortly. Now what we want to do is we want to use substitution. We're going to replace y with 2 raised to the x. And so we're going to have 0 is equal to y squared minus y minus 1. So what we now have is a quadratic equation. And in order to solve it, we need to use a quadratic formula because we can't factor that expression. So here's the formula that we're going to use. y is going to equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now you might be wondering, okay, what is a, what is b, what is c? So right now this equation is in this format. It's equal to ay squared plus by plus c. So a is the number in front of y squared. If you don't see a number, it's 1. b is the number in front of y, and c is the number after that. So we could see that a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 1, and c is also equal to negative 1. 
So let's go ahead and plug those things into the quadratic formula. So we have negative b, where b is negative 1, plus or minus the square root, b squared, that's negative 1 squared, minus 4, a is 1, and c is negative 1. Now we're going to divide this by 2a, or 2 times 1. So this is 1 plus or minus the square root, negative 1 squared is 1, negative 4 times negative 1, that's plus 4, and then all divided by 2. So thus we could say that y is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 divided by 2. So right now we have two possible answers for the value of y. y can be equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 divided by 2 or it can equal 1 minus the square root of 5 divided by 2. Let's see what the decimal values of those answers are, by the way. Now, we're not finished, though, so just keep that in mind. So the first answer is 1.618034, which is basically the golden ratio of the Fibonacci sequence. And then the other one is 1 minus the square root of 5 divided by 2, and so that's negative 0.618034. So those are the two possible values of y. Now, based on our substitution, we said that y is going to equal 2 raised to the x. Now, that means that 2 to the x is equal to positive 1.618, and 2 to the x is equal to negative 0.618. Now, whenever you have an exponential equation, it can't equal a negative number. 2 raised to the x will never equal negative 0.618. So we could eliminate this possible answer. So we're going to use this one. Replacing y with that number, we're going to have 1 plus the square root of 5 divided by 2 is equal to to 2 raised to the x. Now, how do we solve the equation at this point? How do we get the value of x when it's up here in the exponential position? What do you think we should do now? The only way to isolate that x is to use logarithms. Our next step is to take the log of both sides. So we're going to have the log of 1 plus the square root of 5 divided by 2. And that's going to equal the log of 2 raised to the x. Now, a property of logs allows us to move the exponent from its exponential position to a coefficient position. Let me illustrate. For instance, log a to the fifth power is equal to 5 times log a we can move the 5 to the front. And so here, we're going to move the x to the front. So we have log of the golden ratio is equal to x log 2. Now, in order to get x by itself, we need to divide both sides by log 2. And so now we have the solution to the equation. So x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 divided by 2, all divided by log of 2. So that right there is the exact answer. But let's get the decimal value for that. And then let's check our work. So 1 plus the square root of 5 divided by 2, as was mentioned before, is 1.618034. Taking the log of that answer, you get 0.20. 89876. Divide that by log 2, and you'll get this value for x. x is equal to 0 0.694242. And so that is the rounded answer, but this is the exact answer. Now let's make sure that 
the answer that we do have is the right answer. So let's plug it back in to the equation just to make sure that everything checks out. So if you were to plug in 2 raised to the 0.694242, you're going to get approximately 1.618. And then 4 raised to the 0.694242, that is 2.618. And then 8 raised to the 0.694242, you get approximately 4.236. Now, 1.618 plus 2.618, that is 4.236. And so, therefore, this shows that the answer that we do have is indeed the right answer. So, now you know how to solve an exponential equation in this form.